Hi guys, Matthew here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up or install the next generation OneDrive for Business Sync client on your Windows computer. So first step is just to go to this link that I will be providing in the description box below. So is here is just to download the um, OneDrive for Business Sync client. So currently. Um, 8.1 is not supported, but uh, Microsoft promised that they will be adding support for, you know, 8.1. And if you're running Windows 7, like me, you're really going to have to download this sync client because the OneDrive sync is, is not built into Windows 7. And if you're running Windows 10 or 8, Windows 8, uh, OneDrive is, is already built into your operating system. But still, um, if you have uh, maybe a outdated version of the same client, you can still download this and install it. But however, um, if you have uh, an updated version of the same client and if you try to install this, it will give you an error saying like um, there's a newer version of OneDrive installed in this machine. So that's okay. That's that's awesome, meaning that you already have the up-to-date version of the same client. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's download this guy here. All right. All right. So now it is installing. No errors. Awesome. Okay, so now that you have your um, OneDrive installed in your machine, there's still one more step for you to do. As you can see, the setup page here is actually asking you to sign in with your Microsoft account. So we will gonna be downloading this um, de deployment package that will let you add your business account. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on this link. So let's download this package here. All right, so let's see, let's track it. So inside the package we have actually two registry keys here uh, default to business and uh, enable ad accounts so what this default to business will do is uh, when you try to set up the uh, or log in here to the sync client um, by default it's going to ask you to sign in with your work or school account or basically your office 365 account instead of asking you to sign in with your Microsoft account as you can see here so if you're not using OneDrive personal or your consumer Microsoft uh, cloud storage you can go ahead and run this uh, default to business but if you already have uh, if you're already syncing your Microsoft uh, OneDrive consumer um, you can skip the step, but since that I'm not I'm not using the uh, consumer, I'm just gonna close this and add this to my registry. Click yes and okay. And the second uh, thing here is we have enable ad accounts. So by default, when you install the sync client, there's no option for you to add your business account or to sign in with your Office 365 business account. So you're gonna have to add this to your registry which is what I'm gonna do right now so click yes and okay so all we're gonna do here is just to open that sync client so you can do that by clicking on this uh, but if after you click on it and if it doesn't work just go to just search the program so just go to your um, start menu and search for Microsoft OneDrive all right so let's go ahead and open that so right now, as you can see, it's it's no longer asking you to sign in with the Microsoft account. Now it's asking you to sign in with your work or school account. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's sign in. And I'm going to sign in using my test account. All right. There you go. Um, it is signing in. All right, now that you're signed in, uh, this is just wanting to uh, choose the location of the sync folder. So by default, the location of the sync folder is actually inside your profile. So if you go to your C drive, 
users and your profile here it's going to create a, a new folder here saying OneDrive dash um, and the name of your uh, company or organization so uh, but if you want to change the location you can do that you can click on change location and you can um, navigate to the directory that you want to um, create the sync folder but this is okay with me so I'm gonna go next okay so on this section here um, this is the selective sync so you can just basically select the files that you want to sync down um, you know if you want to save up some space uh, you can do this by checking some some of the folders but if you want to sync them all just go go ahead and click on this um, checkbox here sync all files and folders in my OneDrive so if you're okay with this settings go ahead click next all right so we're almost done just go ahead and click on this button open my OneDrive and here we have a new shortcut under a favorites which is OneDrive dash your company name like I said and OneDrive dash personal so yeah this is your uh, wonderful business and this is your um, Microsoft uh, or consumer OneDrive so if you go down here notice that we have a cloud uh, that's that's the sync icon um, for this new next generation sync client so right now it's it's gonna tell you that it's processing and uh, as you can see right now it, it's downloading your files so 10 files remaining and also the uh, file size so earlier I showed you how to uh, have the sync client ask you to sign in with your work or school account by default by adding this registry key but what if you are already syncing your OneDrive personal or OneDrive consumer so I'm gonna show you how to do that so for example this is your consumer Microsoft um, sync usually it's, it's white so all you're gonna do is just to right click on it and go to settings and you have here a new option saying add the business account but if you don't see this add a business account uh, just go back to this uh, folder here and run this enable ad accounts and make sure that you have the latest version of the same client because even though you added this already you're still not getting these options make sure that you have the updated version of the sync client so yeah that's the same thing if you click on add the business account now it's going to ask you to sign in with your work or school account and same thing just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be able to set up the uh, or to sync your files from the cloud to your machine so that's pretty much it and right now I have my sync client up to date so there are some limitations with this sync client um, you know the invalid characters file path uh, too long those are the kind of errors that you might you know deal with in if, if you have um, some of some of those so I'm also going to be making a video on how to fix the invalid file character soon um, if you have lots of files with invalid file characters we can make a PowerShell script that will basically rename you know batch rename all those invalid characters at once and also I'm gonna be providing you a link to the uh, restrictions and limitations of this new sync client so that you'll be aware of those invalid characters and some other invalid strings that can cause the sync client to fail or not to sync but anyway it's gonna tell you the error messages or, or any sync issues um, so usually it's gonna it's under here and you'll see here view sync problems but right now since there's no error messages this option here is grayed out all right so that's pretty much it make sure you also check my other video on how to set up this new sync client on a Mac machine I'll be posting that in the description box below soon. 
All right, so thank you so much for watching this video once again. Uh, it's Matt here, and you guys have a good time. Bye.